Hearing the word levitation for many people conjures up an image of a magician, arms raised, overlooking his assistant lying on a table, whom slowly rises in the air in apparent defiance of gravity. But our experience with levitation is actually much more common. We see hummingbirds and dragonflies do it every day, and we ourselves ride trains that hover over magnetized rails. Another example of levitation is small sediment particles floating in a fluid. Now, basic intuition tells us that if these particles are denser than the fluid, they will eventually settle to the bottom. Further, if the direction of flow is downward in the direction of gravity, they should settle to the bottom even faster. But is there a scenario in which even these heavy particles could be levitated in the flow? First, let's consider how a large object interacts in fluid flow. A classic physics demonstration called the Bernoulli ball challenges our intuition by showing that the interaction between upward flow and a heavy object can cause the object to levitate. But if the flow is tilted too far, the ball drops. Now I will tell you about an extreme situation where the flow is directly downward, yet small particles can still be levitated. This is a newly discovered form of fluid dynamical levitation. My name is Daniel Case, and this presentation is based off a paper authored by Jean-Regi Angelela, Adelson Mater, and myself. Fluids can exhibit complex behavior, like the formation of vortices that can move in a direction different from, and even opposite to, the average flow direction. One such example is leapfrogging vortex rings, first predicted by Hermann von Helmholtz in the 1800s. Here, we have a pair of vortex rings that repeatedly get pulled through each other, creating a leapfrog motion. We can consider a two-dimensional version of this phenomenon where we take a slice through the two rings. This leaves us with four vortices that co- or counter-rotate around each other. Here, the flow around the vortices is downward, yet they remain in the fixed frame of the camera. If these vortices are oriented correctly, we can see that they travel in the opposite direction of the rest of the fluid. Now what's even more interesting is when we place particles in the fluid and observe how they interact with the vortices. In our study, we found that pairs of these tumbling vortices can trap some of the particles that they encounter and drag them along for the ride. We can see this by observing clusters of particles forming and moving with the period of the vortices. The particles are levitated against the direction of flow and against the force of gravity. At the heart of this phenomenon is that it is possible for individual particle trajectories to be manipulated. This is because the particles have inertia and are therefore not restricted to following the streamlines of the flow. In this particular case, we constructed a system where the dynamics of the vortices stabilize particle trajectories that correspond to motion opposite the average direction of the flow. What's even more amazing is that our theory and simulations show that the stronger the gravitational force, or the greater the downward flow rate, the more likely the particles will become captured and levitate. Our model also predicts the parameters for which the particles are not captured by the vortices. This fascinating counterintuitive phenomenon could lead to better understanding the transport of sea sprays, aerosols, and ocean sediment. Please take a look at the paper published in the journal Chaos.